Two colleagues, Paul and Rose, had been looking forward to their promotion. They were waiting eagerly for their letters from HR announcing their promotions. But they were unfortunately disappointed because they did not receive their promotion letters. They were sadly not promoted and this left them frustrated, dejected, sad and disappointed. Paul kept brooding about it and cursed the world for the rejection of his promotion. Rose was disappointed for three days and then she was back to her cheerful self. Paul was observing Rose and when he saw her very cheerful, he went up to her and asked if she had been promoted. When Rose said no, he did not believe her. How can you be so cheerful if you did not get your promotion? You are bluffing, aren't you? You must have got your promotion. Rose told him that she did not get promoted. She told him that she was disappointed and frustrated for a couple of days but then she thought that this was not the end of the world. She said to him, there is so much for which I can be happy in life. So why should I allow one incident in my life to take over my life or my happiness? I thought about the reasons why I may not have been promoted. I will work harder for the next six months and if I still don't get my promotion, I am going to quit and find a better job that recognizes my talent. Nothing is permanent in life. Situations change and I am optimistic that it will be for the better. So I may have been disappointed initially, but my faith in myself and in the Almighty tells me that things are going to get better very soon and I will work hard to make them better. Paul was surprised by what Rose said to him and was impressed by her perspective. He smiled and told himself that he too could get over his disappointment and work towards making things better. I hope you will be able to get over your disappointment if you meet a roadblock or if things don't work out as per your expectations. I'll take your leave now. We are going to meet very soon next week. Till then take care and goodbye.